God says, look, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. Second John 6. Because that shows if you love God. I just wanna, I just wanna, I wanna be famous. Just like when you look at the brother's shirts around here, it's not hard to wear. He said he gonna put curtains on the people. So, is a curtain a good thing or bad? What's your nationality? That's not what we got. I didn't ask you, I asked him. What's your nationality? Done talking. Okay. You're done talking? Okay, you're done. Brother DeGray Sue, what's your nationality? I'm not sure, sir. You're not sure? Okay, see, that's the reason why we're out here, because you have people who don't know, who are unsure about the nationality. According to the Bible, do you do you do you associate yourself with the African Americans and all the struggles that they go through? Just like when you fill out a job application, man, when you fill out a job application and they ask you what's your nationality or what race you are, what do you write down? Other. You write down other. Why? Because uh, people themselves gave us, uh, they tell us they're going black, so that's why they have black on there, so I just put other. Exactly, and brother, I'm not going to lie to you, that's smart. That's smart, because black is a description. Like her dress is black. If things get hard here in America, can you go back to the land of black? <laughs> no, because there's no such place. That's right. So what we have as a people, we have made up identity. Because most of our people associate themselves with being African American, right? No other nationality on the planet has a hyphenated race. African and American are two continents, and they're also two different white men. The land of Africa was named after Leos Ethios Africanus. That's that whole continent. Before that, in the Bible, it was called the land of Canaan. That's what it was called. America is after America Vespucci. It's an Italian navigator who discovered America. So did you come from two white men? No, because two men cannot reproduce a child, correct? So that's the reason why we're out here. We're out here to show you who you are according to the Bible. Not according to what we say, it's according to the Bible. We also teach our people, hey, to keep God's law. Because we read in Leviticus 19 and 11, and the brother said himself that if all of Shreveport keep just this one verse, the crime rate would go down significantly. If we don't steal, don't lie, and don't cheat one another. That's what we're teaching. We're teaching the order of God. Bring it out! That's the whole reason we're out here. We're not out here to go back and forth about which law Moses gave on Mount Sinai. At the end of the day, keep God's commandments. That's, That's it. Right. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Wait a minute, I thought you said you was done. No, I did. Oh, okay, you did. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna address your man right here. I got you, I got you. But he never See, asked the question, he just said- But no, I'm, 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 still, I'm still talking to him because he said he didn't know. So he, he did, I'm just answering his question. And that's what I'm saying, I don't mind dealing with brothers. I don't mind dealing with them. That's why we're out here to talk back and forth. The rudeness and the disrespect, that's when things get a little tough. That's when we just like, nah, Shut that down, read. Because God's voice is over everybody's voice. It doesn't matter your opinion. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what church you go to. It doesn't matter your denomination, your doctrine. God's word is over everything. That's, that's why we read the Bible to shut noise down. Okay? Read what you got. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Bring it out. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Read that again. Let us hear the conclu conclusion of the whole matter. What's the point of life? At the end of the day, this is what you're supposed to do. Fear God and keep his commandments. 
It says, fear God and keep his commandments. Give me Sirach, no. Oh, it's more? Read. For this is the whole duty of man. That's what we're supposed to do at the end of the day. Give me Sirach 2 and 6. So that's, brother, the whole reason why we're out here, it's not to increase numbers. It's not to get money. It's not to do any of those carnal things. Because at the end of the day, do you see any buckets out here? No, we're not out here asking for nothing. We want you brothers and sisters to repent. We want you to keep God's law. That is it. We want our people to get out of the estate, out of the, the conditions that we're in. Because with these two brothers, the brother right here said he was done. I love this brother enough to tell him the truth. And according to the Bible, the Bible says you have to have a beard. According to the Bible, you can't shave your head. Now, if you have a problem with that, it's not with me. It's with the Bible. That's all right. You got it? 15, read what you got. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 15. Bring it out. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Wait a minute. It says, he that fears God. Because remember in Ecclesiastes, it says, fear God, keep his commandments. Read it again. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him. What is well-pleasing to God? Now I know nobody wants to talk. No, because you know what's that's, well pleasing we, to God. We ask the it's like you got me. you ask the questions, I answer them. Then when I ask questions, you don't want to say nothing. I'll answer you. What's well pleasing to God? I got two questions. If you don't mind, I, I got. If you're here to help us, yeah, yeah, yeah you I'm should fine. be like, what's your question? Okay, okay, you. okay, okay. I just have two questions. Answer that question. Real I have two what questions. What is well pleasing to God? Different things. I have two questions. No. Okay, keep we the command. We just read it. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Because you just said no. I said that is wrong. I just want to correct you. That is it. Go back to where we were. Go back to where we were in Sirach. 2 and 15. This is the book of Sirach. Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey His word. So that is, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to keep His word. Just like this brother right here the whole time. He's just doing this. But you, I thought you said you were done. But I'm just saying, I thought you said you were done. That's sowing seeds at this point, brother. What's your question? Uh -huh. The question is, we don't have nothing to get y'all. Okay, I'll praise you. Like, I'll praise you. It's, all, it's all love. It's all love. It's all yeah, love. It's all yeah. Love. I don't have nothing against you, brother. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't even I'll know you to have nothing against you. Okay, the two questions I have I'll probably never see you again in life. You said that the the Book of the Moses Law and Ten Commandments are the same thing. But wasn't it wasn't it giving that two different destinations, two different places? No. We read that before. When he went to the mountain, he... God spoke the Ten Commandments, and then the children of Israel went, then Moses went and got the rest of them and brought them back. Read with you. This is the book of John, chapter 5, verse 46. Bring it out! For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. So y'all believe on Jesus, correct? Read, read it again. This is the book of John, chapter 5. Chapter 5. Verse 46. No. It's the last two verses of John, chapter 5. It's the last two verses. Brother, I've seen you before, right? Okay, I'll pray. Yeah, you've been in the school. I'll pray. Now, you get what we're talking about, right? You've seen us live and in action at the school. What do we teach? We teach our people how to be Lord to keep the commandments, correct? That's all we're doing out here. Now, it's just like I said earlier, I have nothing against you, but at the same time, we are supposed to come out and teach God's law. And we're supposed to show our people when they're breaking God's laws. Right. Give me has, uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. That's the whole reason. Yeah, thank you. That's the whole reason why we're out here. Because like I said, you've seen us. And like I said before, it's nothing against you, brothers. Y'all say y'all don't have nothing against me. But the whole reason we're out here, yeah, the whole reason we're out here is to show our people God's commandments and to tell them to keep God's commandments. Right. That is it. The whole thing where, well, what about Moses and the Ten Commandments? What about the book of the law? God says keep his commandments. 
That's it. We just read it. At the end of the day, you fear God, you keep his commandments. That's it. But what, what the minutes got to do? What, what, yeah, because what the book of the commandments was given to one people. Right, it wasn't right. given to everybody. That's why the lineage is important. Because it's just like what we read in Deuteronomy. Moses spoke unto Israel. Moses did not speak to everybody. That's why the lineage is important. It's just like this. Say for example, what's your name, brother? Terrence. Terrence? Terrence, if I'm your father and I'm filthy rich, I'm like Bill Gates rich, I'm a billionaire, and I leave you my inheritance and I put your name on the uh, my will for you to get my inheritance, does that inheritance go to everybody or does it go to you? It goes to you. So is it not important for you to know who you are to get that inheritance? Yes, that's right. That, that's the whole point of the lineage. Bring it out. Because God's promises are not for everybody, and it says that in the New Testament. That's right. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 44. Bring it out. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. So he, Moses gave the laws to the Israelites. He gave them to God's chosen people. But at the end of the day, if you don't know you're one of God's chosen people, how do you know who the commandments are for? How do you know how to keep the commandments? And then it's the Bible says earlier that we would lose our heritage. So if we lost our heritage, we don't know who we are, we don't know what commandments we're supposed to, supposed to be keeping, how are we supposed to do these things? That's right. Unless the brothers come out here, the prophets of God come out here and show them to you in his word. Right. What you got? Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Bring it out. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgment unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. God's not dealing with everybody. He's only dealing with the Israel. That's, that's why the nationality and the lineage is important. Right. That's, that's why. What you got? The 12 tribes I see posted right here. Are these the only ones going to heaven? That's, that's good. Why, why are you laughing? Like, I'm like, No, no, like, no. That's disrespect. If no, I want you so much to watch you. <laughs> Brother, first off, that's not disrespect. If it was disrespect, if you took it as disrespect, I apologize. Okay. You see how you see how we deal? Yeah. I'm mad enough to admit. If that, if that offended you, I apologize. Right. The reason why is because we've only been talking about the Israelites since we've been up here. That's why I'm like... That's, that's the Israelites. Those, that's, those, these right here are the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, right. In the Bible, this is what they're called. Yes. Because you all know who Israel is, right? Not the land, but you know who the man is, correct? Right. Okay. These are his 12 sons. These, the people on this side is what they're called today. Okay? So his 12 sons had the descendants. Those descendants are called the Israelites. Now you said, are just these 12, are these tribes going to heaven? Yes. Because what is heaven? What is heaven? Yes. Yes and no. Yes and no. But I'm looking for a, a, a distinct answer. Like, what is heaven? You got it? No, I'm not talking about that. No, I'm not talking about that. No. I'm talking about basically slavery. Hell is a condition. That's it. That's it. Now, when it talks about hell in the Bible, it talks about the grave, which is death, and then it talks about slavery. Because when it says that my people are in hell, we're in slavery. Because what do they say? This is hell on what? Hell on earth. It's a condition. The same thing with heaven. That's what I'm asking. If hell is a condition, then what is heaven? Heaven is a condition. Remember what we read in Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. Where it says, if you keep my commandments, where would you be? So you're saying I can inherit heaven right now? No. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just follow me. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. It says, if you keep my commandments, where would you be? Y'all forgot? Or well, you just don't want to answer? Where would you be? You will be above all nations. You will be in rulership. You will be tall. But if you don't keep my commandments, where would you be? If you don't keep God's commandments, where would you be? You will be enslaved. 
Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Bring it out. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter through the gates into the city. What is the gates of the city talking about? Heaven. Heaven basically, brother, is rulership. I think it's, uh... It's what I mean. What's your name, brother? What's your name? What's your name? Yeah, what's your name? Yes. Rod? Yes. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Because this is my brother. I don't want to see him as if it's just like his confrontation. Oh, I understand that. You know, and I... No, you're not. Trust me. We dealt with people worse. And I understand that you have a way of showing this thing. But here's what I want to What you just said is dangerous. Well, listen, I have a certain movie. Okay, okay. I have a certain movie. Okay. Which is heavy. Okay. Right. So it doesn't help with something that's not true because that's being said to them. Like what? But no, listen to me. Okay. Because we've, we've been out here about an hour. Okay. Right? And I still haven't, quote unquote, got anywhere. So what I want to do, just listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Just, just, just keep that in Deuteronomy. Keep that in Deuteronomy. I'm listening. I want to go first. And let's discuss because here's what I don't want. To do. I don't want to compete with you, no right? And if I'm here, here's the thing: if I'm in error, I want the lost. Brother, that's what we've been showing you. But here's the thing: first of all, this is this is this this is your class. This is your establishment yes. according to God. Yes. So you say, yes. man, there's there's things that y'all have spoken of in the Bible. I got scriptures that contradict that. Like what? And the, that's why I said I'm not out here to do that. I want to do it where we can sit down because every time, because here's the here's what we got this we have. Every time we say something, you have took control and you have went to show us what you wanted to show us. It took, it, I had two pins and needles to do So what I want to do, I want to sit down, we open that book up, you say, okay, let me show you this. And I say, okay, well, why does this say this? And you be able to tell me why this says this. And point it back to God. That's the whole thing that we're doing now. That's the whole thing. That's why we come out here, it's like a flyer that you have in your hand. That's why we hand that little trap. So that way, the questions that you have, because bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, like I said before, we have a lot of different schools. We have thousands of videos on YouTube, not just us, all the different things. And it's not just street teaching, it's classroom teaching. So that way, when we hand this stuff out, you can go and look it up yourself. Because if we're sitting here talking now, and the Bible is out now, and we're going over scriptures now, and you don't want to hear me now, you're not going to hear me later. Because I'm going to say the same exact thing later that I'm going to say now. No, right. it's, it's not going to change. That's, that's What about that? And then you get to tell me. But don't like, you have your phone? Yeah, I have my phone now. Then use your phone. So, so basically, you're saying I can't get sick. I'm saying the same thing that we're saying now. So if it's pointless now. Who said it was pointless? That, I'm that's, saying that's now. I'm saying. I'm saying, I said if. It's if. not. It's not. It's not pointless. That's why I'm okay, pointless pray. now. That's why I'm I'll pointless pray. now. Because I'll if pray. it was pointless, I would have said, you know what? This is job. I don't believe that. Let's go. But it's not pointless, like he said. That's why I want to have this. Okay. 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 That's why I want to we'll, we'll, we'll see about that because it's really not up to me. Because I have men over me. And if they want to sit down, if they say, hey, I come out there, I'll come out. If they want to come themselves and do it, they will come themselves. Because like we read before, we do everything in order. Your brother shaking his head. Every time I say something, your brother shakes his head and walk over there. Just like what you said earlier. Oh, man, when you, when I, <laughs> that seems disrespectful. That seems disrespectful to me. But no, I'm just saying, see? I'm not talking to you. Though. I didn't say you were talking to you. I was talking to him. Was talking to him. He was, he was, he was I was talking to him. I was giving an example. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Just 
Because like I said before, we're not out here to, to get in fights and stuff. But it's just, I want to clear some stuff up. That seems disrespectful to me. Okay, so what were, what were you hoping? Great. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So, the stuff that we say now, we're going to say the same exact thing later. You want to have a sit down, that's cool. But when you do the research, Lord's will, y'all do the research. And when I say research, just look at a couple of YouTube videos. We've done this before. Our bishops, our captains, our deacons, they sat down with church leaders before. So it's not like we haven't done it before. And when you go and look it up, you will see that we've done it before. Okay, fine, I'll do that. And one question okay. before I leave. Deuteronomy 28, 15. That's a good question. That's a very good question. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if that will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's what will happen. If we don't keep God's commandments, we will be placed under a curse. And then when you read from 16 to 68, it lists the curse. So, so, I, but I can't lose my life. Yes, God will kill you. He can't. He can't. Can. Can. So, so, regardless if I got the lineage or not, if I ain't keeping the commandments. No, 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 no. That's why if you notice, if you notice, if you look at the news on Facebook and all these different media outlets, why do you think our people put the death every day? That is the reason why I'm here. It's not because, oh, they just because they black. Oh, just because they Hispanic. No, there's a reason behind that. God says, look, if you don't do what I tell you to do, I'm going to kill you. But before I kill you, I will give you a chance. I will give you time and time again to get it right. That's what repentance is. That's why we're coming out here to show you brothers like, hey, look, it's not just y'all, it's anybody that can hear me. That's why we come out to show them like, hey, look, God says to do this, God says to do that. If you don't do this or that, these are the repercussions. So all the laws that Moses had given, we're gonna still take out. No, not all of them. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier, but that's when, you know, your brother kind of started talking. The reason why this man came right here is he took the place of the sacrificial laws. So in case of like, you know, when you have the, uh, when they went to the temple to go sacrifice lambs, goats, turtle doves, we're not under those laws anymore. Because think about it, if they sent Michael Vick to jail for fighting dogs, what will they do to you if you go out here and kill a goat in the street? They're going to send you to jail. But as far as the, the, the civil laws, how we treat one another, we're still to do that. The, the Sabbath, that's one of God's laws. Yes, just like today is the Sabbath. We're supposed to keep those laws. Keep it holy. Now, how do you keep it holy? No buying or selling. Right. Right. So you are. You missed one. There's one more. Well, actually, it's two. Well, actually, there's a. I mean. No, I'm talking about just those categories. No working. Yeah, no work. Absolutely. Yeah, actually, and no cooking. Right. No cooking. No boiling. You do all that on the preparation. On the preparation day, which is Friday. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying, bro. That's the reason why, because a lot of people don't know that. Okay. 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 Uh, and all things, all things, I'm glad to hear that because a lot of our people, they don't do that or they don't know about it. And that's what I'm saying. We're not coming out here to fight with y'all because at least y'all are keeping the Sabbath. That's one of the laws. So that's why we're informing you about the other laws. Okay? All right. Did you ever give me that in Isaiah? Isaiah, but I'll, I'll check the YouTube. Uh, if I can get a sit down, cool. If not, yeah, I understand, but I would like to because, like I said, there's been, like, prime example when uh, uh, the power of old people in the book of Galatians, how you was telling them about being circumcised, and how you was telling them why you're trying to put the yoke on the people that our fathers weren't even able to. And I understand, and then even in Colossians 2, when the Bible talks about, um, uh, 
So that's, that's what I'm saying is earlier, because you said that before, and that's what I was trying to show you before, is the things that were against us was the sacrificial law. Because through the, sacri yes, because through the sacrificial law, we could not become perfect because we gave laws year after year after year, so we were constantly sinning. There was no change. Under Christ, you had to change because there is no more sacrificial law. You get what I'm saying? I can read it for you real quick. No, 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 I, no I know that part of it. Uh, start, uh, yeah, talk, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 4. Bring it up. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and, sacri and sacrifices for sins, thou hast no pleasure. So God doesn't have pleasure in the way with the sacrificial law. But that's why I was naming earlier, like the uh, the civil laws, the dietary laws, what we can and can't eat, ceremonial laws, how we worship God. There are different categories of the law that we're still supposed to keep. But even the Sabbath, a lot of our people didn't know you can't buy, sell, do what you want, cook, work. You can't do those things on the Sabbath. A lot of people don't know that. So yeah. So so what about? Uh, Seven annual Sabbaths. Yeah, like the Yes. 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 Yeah, because the Feast of Unleavened Bread is what? The Feast of Unleavened Bread. What is it also called? Well, well you got the Passover. That's the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Those are the same thing. So this one has to be because those are the Sabbaths in the law, but the last one he says, let no man judge you for your Sabbath days within days. What was he speaking about? Uh, give me that in Colossians 2 and 16 first to hear what the brother was talking about. The seven days of what you're talking about, Passover, Passover is for one full week. It's seven days. We keep Passover. Just like the Feast of uh, Tabernacles. We keep the Feast of Tabernacles. That was like two, three weeks ago. Uh, what is another one? Uh, Pentecost. We keep Pentecost. All of the high holy days in the Bible, we keep them. Right. And we show the people that you should keep those also. I gotta go to a All right. I just want to Corinthians to 2 and 16. Yeah, that's it, Corinthians. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Colossians. You're right, you're right. Colossians. Three. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 6, 6 16. That no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or the Sabbath days. So that's what you were talking about, correct? Yeah, which was a shadow of things to come. Okay, let me show you what that means. Let me show you what that means. It means Ezekiel 45, 17. Because he said, let no man judge you in meats, Sabbath days, new moon, because we also keep new moon. Because that's also a Sabbath day. You're not supposed to buy and sell it. Right? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 40. 45 and verse 17 yeah. and it shall it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings and drink offerings in the feast and in the law in the new moon and in the Sabbath in all solemnities of the house of Israel he shall prepare the sin offering and the meat offering and the burnt offerings and the peace offerings to make Revelation for the house of Israel. So that's what he's talking about. When you read that in Colossians 2 16, it says, Let no man judge you in meats. It's talking about the offering. It's talking about sacrifices. He said, Let no man judge you in new moons. It's talking about sacrifices. Because the thing that Paul was telling the people, he said, Look, look your salvation is not based on this ghost anymore. It's based on him. So if you want to keep sacrificing, that's cool with you. But this for like me and his brother. I, I was raised on sacrificing. He was not. He says our salvation is no longer based on that goat anymore. It's based on him and keeping his laws and believing on him. That's what Colossians 2.16 is talking about. It's talking about let no man judge whether you bring a sacrifice to the temple.
whether or not on the feast days, on the new moons, uh, what kind of, of uh, sacrifices like, like turtle doves, meat, stuff like that. That's what it's going into. So, uh, so you're telling me you're the sacrifices? Yes. We just read it. Read it again. Read it again. 216. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 16. Let no man therefore judge you in meat. Now wait a minute. Hold 216 and go back to uh, Ezekiel 45, 17. We're going to read them both at the same time. Okay. Now read 216 again. Let no man therefore judge you in meat. Let no man judge you in meat. Read. 17. And it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings. That's the meat. Go back to Colossians. Well, Colossians didn't, didn't, didn't mention the word offering. Or in drink. It didn't mention the word offering. Ezekiel 45 and 17. <clears throat> and it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings and drink offerings. But that's what I'm saying. When you read the book of Colossians, all of Paul's writings, he's dealing with the Israelites who are living like the other nations. That's why they're called the Gentiles. That's the whole reason they're called Gentiles is because they're not keeping God's law. Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.